the scale, fillet and pin bone of sea bass. It's a six to eight hundred gram farm sea bass. Very fresh, very good quality, very reliable product. So, under running water, just put these. You're going to have to get in on top of this. Just go, I go from tail to head, in short motions. Going up tight to the under the fins. I'm using just a bog standard fish scaler. This is a really good quality one because it's not too pointed, it doesn't tear sardines, it tends to lift the scales because they're very soft. Yeah, it's robust enough to do most things. Always good to do this in a sink with running water. Put the catch in if you can, just catch all the scales, they'll block the drains up. Right, filleting. With a normal filleting knife, I like a curve in my blade. Again, like you saw me do with the salmon, up under the fin. Now this time I'm going above the backbone. I'm going to join this first cut with the second cut. Be careful with your fingers because you need to break the skin here. Once you broke the skin, it's easy. Bass have quite a tough skin. So I'm joining the first cut. I come down to about this fin here and I push the knife through, making sure I'm above the backbone, right through the body. I've done it here because I don't want to go through all the guts. And then I cut down to the tail and come out. What I've done then now is so I've done one cut, I've cut down above the backbone, I've pushed through and I've come out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull back the fillet and I'm going to make a couple of cuts clicking through the bones there which I'll take out with the pin boners. So I've cut through those bones which are here which I'll take out with the pin boners. This is the rib cage and this is the flesh. So where the rib cage and the flesh join I literally run my knife but angling it towards the ribs, down the ribs, in a couple of motions and take it away from the fish. There we are. And I'll do the same on the other side. Up under there, on big cut rounds. <clears throat> now above this fin here, check you've got all the scales off. I'm going to break the skin with a knife and I'm above the bone. Now what I'm doing is I'm also curving the fish away from me, so I'm cutting against the back, but I'm not wasting any good flesh. I'm joining this cut to that cut. I make a couple of cuts to cut through those bones here now again, like I did before. And the same again, I'm going to push the knife through, just here, into the tail. A couple of cuts, now the same thing again, there's the rib cage down there. Just follow the ribs round. Obviously a speed filleter would do this a lot quicker. But I'm not really trying to be fast. There it is. See the backbone's clean right through. So now I trim off the bottom bit there to tidy that up. Again with the pin boners, not so many as a salmon. The pin bones you're going to find about here in that dark line. And you have to sort of pinch through the flesh to grab them. Same thing, pull towards you on this fillet because that's the angle of the flesh so you don't tear the flesh. If the, the fish are very fresh, so they are a bit of a tug to get them out, you won't have a problem if you do this with a supermarket fish because they'll be so old that the bones will fall out. Now you can see I'm getting them out of that one there. There are not many of them, I think it's about eight or ten here. I'm not gonna there's another one. Just run your finger back down after you've been, you'll you'll pick up the feel of a bone if there's still one there. There we are. Two sea bass fillets. On the farm fish. Beautiful.